Hello everyone, welcome to Aditech. I'm here to share my experience with the OTG oven I recently bought, which is not getting enough temperature to cook or bake. I will explain what I did to get it fixed and what happened during the process. You may have heard about the common problems that could cause these issues. If not, I will tell you guys, but there is more. So please watch this video fully. The main concerns are the thermostat and the heating element. These are the most common problems that could occur. But since I got a brand new oven and it was the first time I was using it at my home, at first I didn't want to mess with it because it has a warranty. So I contacted the service center to fix this. Besides, I bought this on the Flipkart and they said they would send a technician to fix it. If they couldn't, they will replace my product. When the technician is arrived, he clearly did not even try to turn on the oven. He kept looking at the surface and at me and saying some ovens are only for heating the food and nobody will use it for cooking. And I said it to him like it's clearly for baking and grilling and this oven is not even reaching 120 degrees celsius even after setting the temperature to 250 degrees celsius. Even if I waited for an hour, the heating is very low so please take a look at it. He is clearly not even checking it. He said he will call another technician. Remember he didn't even turn on this oven at all. He didn't even diagnose anything. He just called the another person and he said I will close this. You make a new request. And he closed the request as customer is happy and the problem is fixed. The next day I requested again and the same technician was assigned once again. I was like what the heck? How could people hire stupid people like this guy for work? My question was, who hired this guy? He clearly not going to fix this. And one more thing, if you guys are unable to fix this problem by yourself, you should find a trustworthy service center. There are several signs that a service center might try to scam you. They will pressure you to pay upfront. If the service center is pressuring you to pay the upfront before diagnosing the problem, it could be a sign that they are trying to scam you. Diagnose without proper inspection. If the service center claims that your oven has a problem without properly inspecting it, it could be a sign of scam. Unnecessary repairs. If the service center is suggesting repairs that seem unnecessary, it could be a sign that they are trying to scam you. To avoid scam from such service centers, follow these steps. Research the service center before going to them. Check their review and ratings online to ensure that they are trustworthy. Ask for detailed diagnosis before any repairs are made. Make sure they explain the problem and show you any defective parts that needs to be replaced. Get a second opinion from the another service center if you are unsure about the diagnosis or repair cost. It's always a good idea to get a second opinion. Don't pay upfront before the service is made. Only pay once the repair has been completed and you are satisfied with your work. Since I can't rely on the service center or the warranty, I did a lot of researches and I found out the solutions and I'm here to show you guys. My oven will consume around 2000 watts and it has a power plug, which is larger than regular plugs. And it is designed for the high power consuming machines such as ovens, washing machines and air conditioners. They all have the power plug. However, some ovens may still have small regular plugs and it will still consume higher amount of watts to operate. First, you need to check which part of the oven has the problem. Typically, when all the oven starts to preheat, it will instantly turn the rods to glow red, which are also known as the heating elements or coils. In my oven, it has four rods, two on the top and two on the bottom. Some ovens have options to make all rods heat at the same time, or top or bottom only heat options. When you try to heat the oven, if some of the rods get red and only two or one rod doesn't glow or heat, it could indicate that the heating element is faulty. However, you could do the continuity check with the multimeter to double check the heating element rods. If you find that your rod is faulty, then you need to replace that part and your oven will work properly. And another common issue that could cause heating problems in your oven is the thermostat, which is the temperature control button. First, you need to understand how this temperature control button works. When you try to heat the oven to the particular temperature, 
let's say you want to set the temperature to 100 degrees celsius inside the thermostat button there's a switch made of a copper material that keeps the switch contact together which provides the electricity power to the heating elements until it reaches 100 degree once it reaches the temperature it will release that contact and the electricity supply will be stopped from the thermostat and the heating element will stop heating and the red glowing thing will also go away when the temperature starts to decrease let's just say it goes to uh, 99 or 98 degrees celsius the thermostat switch will make the contact automatically and the electricity will flow once again and the heating will start again by doing this process over and over it can able to maintain the temperature that you set so the food won't be burned or undercooked the problem usually happens if the faulty thermostat thing that you set the temperature to 50 degrees celsius but in reality you might have put it like 100 degree or more it will cut the contact and maintain 50 degrees celsius which is usually a calibration problem some people can adjust the thermostat to fix this but in some cases it won't be helpful it won't even work or if your thermostat is extremely faulty then the contact may never happen or the contact will never get released and it will just struck in one place if that's the case even if you try to set the temperature it won't get heat at all or it will never stop heating and that will definitely going to burn your food or it won't even heat at all. That's what a faulty thermostat will do. You can hear the thermostat switching sounds when it's in use. If you listen carefully when it turns the heating off and on, you will be able to hear a clicking sound. If you believe your thermostat is dead, then get a replacement and replace it and it will work. But for me, none of the above was my problem. In my kitchen, the power supply had a problem. I never noticed because I never used high power devices in my kitchen before and my power outlet was unable to provide the enough power to the oven. The oven is still turning on and it does heat little bit but it did not show any red colors on any of the rod and all the foods were undercooked and raw inside. If you have an air conditioner it might have a better power outlet and if you connect your oven there you can make sure if the rods are getting reddish and heating or not. I bought a power outlet extender and used it on my air conditioner power outlet and I put my oven cord on it and checked it. The preheat actually happened and the heating element rods became reddish within few seconds. After realizing the main cause of the problem, I fixed the low power voltage in my kitchen and now it works like a charm. Actually this is the most important thing at all and this is the first thing you should always look before checking the thermostat or the heating element. And most importantly, if you are going to fix the oven, you must own an oven thermometer. Otherwise, you may not be sure how much temperature your oven is getting and it's better for cooking as well. Because you can actually monitor the temperature while cooking and it will be accurate. I have given the link in the description below so you guys can also buy the oven thermometer. I hope this helps you guys. Feel free to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye.